Hey, it's Danny J here. And um, today I'm going to do a video. I don't think I've ever done a um, video about my entire collection of mercury vapor bulbs. I don't think I ever have. And as you can see, I've done some rearranging in here with the dorm fridge. There's something for later in there. <laughs> yeah, I brought that back in here. I'm going to do a video where I'm, I'm using, I'm going to put in each one of these bulbs. I've got, brought out my uh, Phillips on my Westinghouse Luminaire here. I like this one the most because it's the one I got from PSO and it has the old work, it's the old work, work uh, mobile socket on it as you can see. I like that old work, man. It just has this, this old. 1950s or whatever thing going on with it. But <clears throat> first, I'm going to get out the actual bulb. Yeah, this is the bulb that was originally in it. And you'll be able to tell by the look of the bulb, that's got some uh, age to it. It's not going to be as bright. But I'm going to put it in. I'm going to fire it up. Let's see how it looks. So I'm going to turn this, this overhead light off so you'll be able to get a good look what's up with this. So there you go. And if I'm right, that's a GE. Looks like a, G, a GE lamp. It has a shorter arc tube. I'll just kind of get in here a little bit with the camera and you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Yeah, it looks like it's an old, yeah, it's a General Electric. No, no, it's a, no, it's a Phillips. I can see it's the Phillips, the old Phillips bulb. Yeah, I can see the mark says Phillips on it. But yeah, it still has that pinkish glow where the phosphor coated lamps normally have. So yeah, it's just that baby light on. I said this is the exposure dropped, so. You're not going to get the full, full intense brightness of it, but you get a good idea that it gets, it gets fairly bright. I haven't busted this thing, these lamps out in a while, so I'm like, yeah, I just want to kind of do something with that, you know? Excuse me. Complimentary YouTube part. <laughs> Looks like it's up to full intensity now on that bulb. I'm going to get an oven mitt so I can go ahead and take that out. It's going to be hot, obviously. <laughs> oh. Rupt shifts in light quality there. Andy Dan, it's good to have an oven mitt if you're switching these out quickly. <laughs> yeah, they do get hot. Most of you know. Both of them. What's that called? Both of them, but didn't. Shame on me. See it or not. General Electric right there. These are bulk packages. Here's a vacuum. I'm plugging in this. Uh, see it or not. Putting that GE right there. Camera. A little bit better than we go. The GEs, I noticed they have like a sort of short arc tube in them. Fire that off. There's that beautiful bluish white arc tube. The only difference between these and a metal halide lamp, just the halide lamp. This is mercury vapor with salts, halide salts in it. Really only difference. I'm gonna get that other uh, oven mitt while I'm at it. Got another good 
video over here I'm rendering that blender nuclear explosion project I have going. So, yeah. I got about 10 frames left before that thing's done. Excuse me. Gaseous anomalies. Yeah, I think he was off beautiful. Clear mercury vapor is always going to be my favorite. This has that lonesome look to it, that lonely atmosphere. I like how it looks against that old that old work socket. Yeah, it has it kind of like I said that old lonely that lonely look to it, lonely street corner on a rainy night or something, you know. Yeah, the, the maintenance people and I guess my former next door neighbor's son or grandson came over and like last two years to clean out the rest of the stuff. Sucks, man. It's been there for seven years, man. You can see all this health just gradually decline. I may not install every, I may not do every single bulb in this video. I just kind of wanted to show off what I had over here. Well, some guys like a uh, Channel Parrot 175, man, he's got a plaster of bulbs. <laughs> That's approaching full brightness now. Wow. Oh, that clear mercury vapor. Woo! Love it, man. Love it. It's awesome. Go, mercury vapor! Yeah! Yeah, it's, it's at the full brightness now. Look at that R2, boy. <laughs> Something else. <laughs> Next one for my ball bucket list. <laughs> oh, let's see here. So it's best to use oven beds if you're switching these out really quick for a video or something. To it. See it or not. Yeah, I'll put this baby in here. Well, those oven mitts are still warm. Cut that other light back out. Fire this one off. As you can see, this is another fog color corrected bulb, obviously. Which one's polarized, which one's not on this plug. There we go. Of course, it starts out pink. But yeah. Of course, when the exposure changed, it looks white, more white than anything. There it goes. Yeah, I noticed this is a Chinese Westinghouse. The arc tube isn't as long as the original Westinghouse and my Phillips Westinghouse bulbs that I have. Yeah. Get up to full brightness. Kick the camera! Kick the camera! <laughs> kick the camera! Yeah, baby, kick the camera! Oh, man. Two more frames. <laughs> All of a sudden, this nuke gun, this, this nuke Blender them, this nuke blender render that I'm doing on the nuclear explosion. Yeah. I know I've done one before for that little video I did called the Sum of All Rears. I thought I wanted to make this look more realistic. Yeah, she's up to full brightness now, it looks like. That's why I have the um, electromagnetic. But ready the waves given off and interferes with the film the, the camera's operation is that weird you know pulsating flickering look to it slow flicker yeah that's that one put this in the cooling tank the tub Oof. How 
try to go through every one of these. <laughs> it's just, you know, if you set something up like this, you might as well follow through, right? This one out. Good. Uh -oh. Next, I'm going to, this is a Phillips right here. This isn't my favorite type of Phillips. My favorite type of Phillips is coming up. Fire this one up. This one has a, has a. It doesn't start out looking as quite as blue as the General Electric. But it's still pretty cool though. Get it over there a little bit. And the arc tube's a little bit longer than that other one was. It is a Phillips, but the thing is. The Phillips, the BT, the Westinghouse Phillips, they had a longer arc tube, though. Still cool, though, because it is a mercury vapor. My favorite will always be that clear blown tubular shape. Yeah, Sylvania made one, too. But to me, Westinghouse will always be the company that came up with that design first. Could be wrong about that, but, you know. That's just the one I remember seeing it with first. See, I'm trying to save, save, get me a house, you know. I've got like close, moving up towards three hundred dollars so far, and the savings are kind of opened up. And what I like, at this payday, I'm going to have to dedicate my entire check to rent. We raised up the rent to four eighty five. We're going to budget a little bit more. I really need to be wiser with money. <laughs> We're not here for all that. <laughs> you know. Yeah, that sucker's up to full brightness. It didn't take long for these to get to full brightness. So it's actually more of a whitish color. Looks like when it's up to full brightness. Just the exposure. Yeah, that's, that sucker's beautiful. Next, I'm going to do this. Um, let's shut that off. Plug that. Take that one out. Just your eyes a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you see the nice Sylvania. I think it's the nice Sylvania logo right there. Yeah, Sylvania, you can probably barely see it, but let's see if I can shed a little more light on the subject here. Yeah. I don't know if that really helped or not. <laughs> it says Sylvania on it. It's like so all these these clear mercury vapors. They always basically look the same, more or less. Different manufacturers. I think Sylvania and Phillips are like subsidiaries of each other. You know, because they share similar bulb designs. Well, most of them do. 
Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to edit this video because it's going to be a bit longer than I anticipated. Thank goodness for editing software, right? <sighs> It's weird when if you look at a Mercury vehicle, especially a clear one, you'll see it's like a shimmering, it's like a shimmering around the ball. This is the UV it's giving off, the glittering of the light. You know, if you can see it the camera, it has this really cool like glimmering effect around the on the bulb. Yeah, you really can't see it with the camera, but yeah, it's, if you look at it, it's, it's giving off these shimmering ripples. On a clear ball, they do that. Yeah, one's at the full brightness now. On to the next one. I'm only going to do one of these two Phillips balls because it's the same ball. B2, the BT uh, three nines. Alright, let's pop one of these puppies. Put these beautiful puppies in there. Let's see if you can see the etchings or not. You might not be able to see it on the bottom. Phillips Westinghouse. There's that other one. I'll just try to see if I can look at it from the bottom. Yeah, you can see it. Might be able to barely see it. Yeah, Phillips Westinghouse. You no, know, lifeguard. Oh, yeah, I'm going to fire this one here up. See how it looks. I like that blown tubular shape. Turn the light off again. There's that BT, that blown tubular shape. And you notice the Phillips Westinghouse, they have a much they have a slight considerably longer arc tube. This is back when they were built a little more sturdy. Not as inexpensive and cheap as they or later on. But yeah. My battery's about to grow. <laughs> so if there's a little bit of an intermission, we're going to change my battery now. She's really blipping out the light right now. She's a full right now. So I've got the exposure drop, so <laughs> you're not seeing the full radiance of that lamp right now. Swap that beauty out. So now, this is what I have not done yet. This is Sylvania. This one's got a look. See, that what's up with this one, if you look at it, you see a little bit like brown and stuff on it. What that is from is from when I was trying to do that other hook that other lamp fixture up and the uh, caramelized uh, varnish or whatever was on there. I didn't put the uh, capacitor on the other ballast and it burned up the ballast because the ballast is a different type. Probably the 3H37 ballast. H37 I believe has to have a capacitor on it. Realize it will go bye bye. Yeah, I'm going to swap batteries real quick. I'm back, folks. Well, I didn't put much of a charge on that other battery, so gosh, it's almost as bad a shape as the other one. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and fire this one up. Got a power cord. I might be able to like hook it up. Put it on the adapter for it. Should be over here. That would be charging while I'm filming. That's what I like about this particular battery is that you can do that. Yeah, here's the power cord that actually goes to it. Actually, 
plug it up. I'll have to move the camera over here just a little bit, folks. It's going to have to be stationary, at least for the time being, because of the situation. So, yeah, plug it up real quick. So now it's charged, I can always zoom in. <laughs> That's the uh, Sylvania. I'll, move, I'll, actually, I'll actually move the bulb closer to it so you can see what's up. See the nice little Sylvania logo right there? Yeah, so, like I said, there's that caramelized varnish because from that other ballast that I didn't have to. I didn't put the uh, capacitor on there, I should have. If you ever get one of those like that with capacitor, that is not an option. <laughs> you have to have it on there for it to operate properly, otherwise the, the ballast will operate at a much higher voltage and it will actually draw too much amperage into the bulb and it will cause the uh, ballast to just burn up. And then that happened twice before I learned my lesson. In fact, I ought to Google that, you know, it's probably an H37 ballast versus an H39. Did the wrong off the cut. They get up to full brightness. See, the ballast I ordered in for, were actually for metal halide lamps. I'm reading it right here on Google. You can use them with a mercury vapor bulb, but it's specifically de designed, you know, to be used with it. So it, would lip, it can limit the amperage. You know, these older ballasts, like this one right here with the Sylvania bulb, they're set up in such a way where you don't have to have a limiting capacitor. It's just the way it's, I guess the newer ones are more um, energy efficient. Yeah, that one's up to full brightness now. Did I hit it right on the head? Yeah, that beauty is up to full brightness. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and plug that. And I technically I've only have one more bulb to do. And that's going to be that Phillips frosted, or color corrected one. Yeah, you can see it right there. So the rubber on it. Yeah. Yeah. That came with my little rope that I bought off of the eBay. And the pro piece. It's always been a pro piece. Yeah, when I got it, it wasn't that expensive. And that's what she's really raised the price and was bad to put old fixture. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Interesting pink glow to it when it first starts up. Yeah, I've got that Morocco underneath there. I think it's in the other closet. I had to throw away the box that it was in. It's just sad because of the fact that it had the bed bugs and stuff. But you know, hey, do what I had to do. It sucks <laughs> Ooh, that one's up to full brightness now. Yeah, doggies. Oops. Get the cord out of the wall. Yes, it's definitely up to full brightness. Yeah, definitely up to full brightness now. Shut that one off. Move the air a little closer to it. Yeah, you see it.
just sounded like a wow, wow, I've said it type of pulse. <laughs> This puppy's reached full of brightness too. <clears throat> That's all the bulbs. <clears throat> Show you where I've been sitting all those at. That's all of them right there. going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed my modest mercury vapor bulb collection and the accompanying test luminaire. Show them off. Yeah, I'm going to have to here later pick everything else up and once those little babies cool off, man, <laughs> put everything up. <laughs> yeah. I think that's a much better location for my traffic signal than that cat carrier was. Well, hey, that's going to do it for this video. Here later on, I'm going to have to clean up everything <laughs> once it gets, once the bulbs get clear, cooled off and everything. Most importantly, in the name of Christ, I want you all to be blessed. I want you to be safe. I want you to be healthy. I want you to be at peace. I want you to love each other. Amen. Wow.